Welcome to this new Adon Spotlight. In this Adon Spotlight, we're going to look at the SimReef panel, which has been released a few days ago. So it's an add-on, right, which allows you to, I say, load the uh, information which you uh, scheduled in SimReef, which is one of the favorite flight uh, planning tools for most of us, and then directly download it in Flight Simulator 2020. In some cases, right, uh, the aircrafts already have that capability. For example, some third-party aircrafts have the uh, the fly path or the electronic flyback, uh, which has the capability of loading a flight plan. But in this case, it's I would say a different uh, method of getting access to the flight plan, and I would say it's, it's pretty useful based on what I uh, have seen and have experienced when using it. Uh, how to get it is really easy. You go to uh, this URL, which I also will. Uh, include in the comments of this video and then you can i use the download now button to download it so here's what's included right so there's a list of uh, things which have included it's the the air airline and flight number of course there's also the uh, origin and destination and alternate airports there's the cruise cruise flight but also the block view and the extra view and some additional uh, view like the reserve view and the alternate view which is sometimes useful because if you need to, I uh, say, swap between screens, right? If you've got a single screen, then it sometimes is, I would say, really frustrating. And now it's simply, I would say, is accessible directly from uh, the flight sim, no matter which aircraft you are using. Now, how to install it? Well, that's really easy. Once you've downloaded uh, the, uh, I would say, the tool, you will have a folder called, uh, sorry i should say you've got a zip file called sim brief panel and then uh, the i would say the grid uh, once you ac extract it it will extract it into a folder and in my case i would say i mostly manually copy it to my community folder so let me uh, do that right so we can simply copy this file and in my case i've moved my community folder outside of the uh, default folder and then simply uh, paste it and then the uh, sim brief panel is installed now we'll pause recording and we'll start Flight Simulator so we can shortly look at how that panel looks like. So Flight Simulator has loaded. So if you go to the top, you will find the SimBrief panel. And SimBrief panel will initially ask you for the username. It won't ask you for the password. You only need to provide your username. And then it will load the flight plan, of course, if it can. Because in some cases, there is no flight plan which could load because we're not on the airport uh, where I would say we have scheduled the flight plan for right so in this case right if i open the uh, vfr map i'm on uh, on the cables right so cables uh, over here right so you can see uh, that's where i am and if that's the case right and there's no flight plan it can't fetch it right if you press the fetch option it won't do much so what i need to do is i need to go uh, to uh, sim brief in this case and i will need to uh, well schedule a flight right because that's the way how it works uh, so I'm going to move over to, uh, in this case, uh, KBOSS. So let me see if I can already have a fly plan. No, I haven't got a fly plan. So let's uh, create one. Uh, so I'm going to enter here KBOSS. And then I will go to KJFK, right? And then we will simply uh, select the correct airplane. In this case, it's the uh, E175 and then for now i say okay hey do we already have a fly plan uh, yes we have so i'm going to save it and press close and then i say generate which will override the fly plan right so be aware of that it will override the fly plan which you initially have uh, scheduled uh, so once it has done that right there's no need to download it but you can simply go uh, back into the flight simulator right so let me do that um, so here we go, and then we can press uh, fetch. And here you see what it has done, right? So in this case, since I didn't, I would say, provide an airline a flight number, it's set to none. It downloads the uh, aircraft, but also the uh, origin and destination. And if there's an alternate uh, specified, it will also show it. <laughs> kind of cool, right? It will revert me back to the, I would say, original uh, airport. Then of course, the cruise altitude, uh, yeah. the cruise uh level i think it is uh or no sorry this is the cost index 
Then the fuel, which we discussed, right? The block fuel, the extra fuel you reserve, and the alternate fuel all calculate automatically for you and pull it from uh, Simbrief. And then, of course, the zero fuel weight and the other information, right? The payload, the cargo, uh, the bags, if you uh, took any of them. And then, of course, the uh, top of climb winds, top of climb temperature, the top of climb uh, ISADEV. I'm not sure what ISADEV stands for. So if you know what ISADEV stands for, then feel free to add it uh, to the comments of this video. And, of course, the average winds. And that's, I would say, the direction and the speed, of course. Uh, Below that, you will see the route which you configured, right? So that's everything which is being pulled. So I would say really useful. I do think that they might add some more things over here. Uh, for example, a way to natively show the uh, flight plan. But this, I would say, is at least really easy to understand. Also, if you, I would say, start uh, with playing with Flight Simulator, right? Such as the block view. Those are things which you, I would say, might find hard to uh, say find hard to figure out where you can find it but at, in this tool it's i would say really easy right so it's really nice really cool tool and as you can see you can simply uh, fetch it which will load the flight plan but you can also reset it then it will let's say reset the uh, sim brief panel so really cool add-on which receives regular updates it already has received a few updates the, the last few days so again, if you want to download it, uh, have a look at the download link in the comments of my uh, video or in the description of my video, I should say. And there you can download the tool and give it a try yourself. So here is this video uh, where we looked at the Simbrief panel, which is a new community built, uh, say, panel, which allows you to easily see the uh, Simbrief, uh, Simbrief flight plan, which you uh, scheduled with uh, the Simbrief flight planner tool. I uh, hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.